Hi, my name is Italia and in this video I'll be drawing some line art and then swapping that line art with Carter and colouring their line art. Just a reminder, this is a time lapse video and therefore does contain fast moving and flashing images. If you'd like to see more videos like this then consider subscribing to my channel. For those of you who are unaware, both Carter and myself are 2D artists for the game developer Be Awesome Games, who makes the survival dragon game Day of Dragons. Both the pictures that are featured in this video are both dragons from that game. I'm doing my sketch and line art first, and it is of a Singe Crest, which is one of my favourite dragons from the game. This isn't implemented yet and won't be for a little while yet, um, but it is in the Day of Dragons comic, which I'm the primary artist for. I was a little disappointed in how my line art came out as I felt like it didn't quite come up to the standards that Carter can draw to and I really wanted to make some good art for them to be able to colour but I'm just not quite as good of an artist as they are when it comes to proportions and perspective and sketching out dragons uh, which is probably why they are the primary concept artists, 2D concept artists and I generally just do the extra stuff like the comic and uh, UI buttons and that kind of thing. Um, but it was super fun to do this trade with them and I really hope we get a chance to do another one at some point. Uh, I did really like how my coloured version of their line art came out. I'm really happy with that and you'll see that later on in the video. I really liked how my lighting came out and the light passing through the wings and stuff. Um, but the sketch I'm doing at the moment, you can already see there's a couple of problems with it. I do try to fix it as best as I can and I'm also not great at line art uh, overall. So when I do the line art later, it's just, um, it's just not as impressive. So I was a little bit disappointed in myself for the actual creation of this line art, but much happier with how I ended up coloring the line art they provided. Now I spent an hour doing this sketch and line art and I spent two hours doing the colouring of the other line art. So three hours in total for the two images done in this video. That does look like I'm nearly done with this line art, but I am actually going to return to the wings as I'm not happy with them. As mentioned, I wasn't happy with a lot of this, which is kind of strange since I have drawn a lot of singe crests recently because they are in the comic, and I have also been doing some other work that features them. Um, and the, the drawings from the comic and the other work is much better than this. So I just, I think maybe I was just having a bad drawing week or something because it just, I'm just was disappointed. I know it still looks fine and a lot of people will be saying oh it looks great what are you talking about but I just really wanted to have a good drawing and in my own, from my own perspective I felt like I could have done better than this um, but it is what it is and Carter did an amazing job coloring it. I'm sure if you visit 
their social media sites. Uh, they have a YouTube as well. You'll be able to find it somewhere amongst their stuff. They've also got a DeviantArt and I'll make sure to have all of their links in the description below as well. Here it is, here is my OK Singe Crest line art uh, that I pass over to Carter. And up next we have the amazing line art that Carter provided me with. So this, um, this dragon will be in the newest update that's coming in February for Day of Dragons. And this is the Blitz Striker, which is an electric dragon, which is right up my alley when it comes to colouring and drawing dragons. I really like electricity based things and any chance to draw lightning um, I'll jump at it. So when they sent me this I immediately knew what kind of background I was gonna do and the background is what I started with. I am relying heavily on a custom made brush uh, that I've made for Artflow. If you do know, want to know how to make your own brushes, I do have a video on how to make brushes in Artflow in my YouTube library. Um, I do really love this brush. I think I did something like I just googled a picture of a cloud and then turned it grayscale and cut out the background and made it into a brush and now it's just this really cool cloud brush. Um, but I am using it as a paintbrush and as the smudging tool so at the moment I'm smudging in those clouds using the cloud shaped brush. Creating the lightning for this was super fun and I really enjoyed it. I did look at a couple of different reference pictures um, and I have started with a rather purple colour but I will make it more blue later. I pretty much just used a solid a bamboo brush and then I used the felt brush to add the sort of glow around the edge and then I make a bunch of adjustments to it but it was really simple and easy to achieve this really bright lightning strike look just by having a darker color around the lighter middle part of the lightning bolt um, and I'm really happy with how this came out and I do expand up upon the lightning strike further in the video once I've added some color to the dragon itself I will be adding some little bits of lightning that are actually coming from the dragon so it actually looks like it's calling it rather than it's just being hit by a lightning bolt. I normally like to keep my special effects separate from my background, but in order to blend the light coming from the lightning bolt better into the clouds, I decided to merge the two layers together. So now my lightning bolt is integrated with the background, but as mentioned, it does make it easier to um, have a smoother transition where the light hits the clouds. So I'm now able to use the smudge tool and mix it in with the colors of the clouds in the background. Now it's time to move on to the colouring for the dragon itself. So I create myself a flat layer uh, that I can put all my colour on. I do this by selecting the outside of the line art and then inverting that selection, creating a new layer and then colour filling that selection. Now I can either lock that layer and colour only on that section or if you do have access to clipping layers, I can create clipping layers above it to add additional colours to the, to the layer below. And I wanted to make sure I had 
the lightning color or the light source pretty down from the beginning so i only added some of the base colors to the dragon and then straight away went into adding the harsh light source along the back of the dragon where the lightning bolt would be illuminating its wings and the back of its head and neck just a quick side note as well all the reference pictures used in this video uh, so the blitz strike you saw up in the corner just then and the singe crest pictures i used at the beginning are all from uh, the awesome games social media pages um, and are of the actual models of the dragons that will be in the survival dragon game day of dragons Now, speaking of Dave Dragons, they recently updated their models to include subsurface scattering. So, uh, this picture I drew pretty much straight after they had finished implementing that into their models. I was pretty excited to paint my own uh, lights coming through the skin and being able to see like veins and stuff. And this was the perfect opportunity to do that. There's not many light sources brighter than a lightning bolt so if anything is going to enable you to see the blood flowing through the membrane of a wing it's a lightning bolt behind it so here we go and i really liked doing this it was really fun and it was the part i was looking forward to the most so i'm really happy that it came out the way it did i didn't want to overdo it i was trying to think about what parts of the dragon would be catching the light and that the viewer would be able to see the light shining through. So only adding it in certain places and then backing it off a little bit in some places where I thought I went too hard on it. And then after that, I started adding the heavy shadow that would be on the other side of the dragon. Um, as the bright light comes from the back, then it's going to be heavily in shadow from the front. just like to reiterate again what amazing line art this was this was such a joy to color it's so much better than what my normal line art looks like um, and I normally when I do my own line art when I go to color it I have to heavily change things because I've made mistakes but this is pretty much just perfect it was so good to to color this um, and I didn't want to get rid of the actual lines itself either because I thought that Carter did such a good job. So I actually leave the line art on and you can see here, I'm actually adding some color onto that line art. So I've just locked the line art layer and I'm just putting some uh, bright purpley blue color on the edge where the light would be hitting the dragon just to again, sort of push home the massively bright light source of the lightning bolt behind the dragon. Now I'm going to start expanding on the actual lightning bolt itself uh, and I wanted to make it look more like the dragon was calling the lightning and shooting lightning rather than being like actually hit by lightning itself so I did decide to actually add some of it coming out of the mouth. I wasn't sure about keeping this or not because it does kind of change where the light source was coming from but I do think it does sort of um, make it more like what I'd intended it to be so I do end up keeping it I do also start to expand the lightning bolt that's coming from the back as well um, and I just add a bit of a gradient to make the wing tips darker from the center since the lightning bolt sort of hitting the center of the dragon I 
I did suddenly realize it now looks like the lightning bolt was striking the back of the head and coming out through the mouth. So I do decide to reposition the dragon in the frame. Since my lightning bolt is part of my background, it's not a separate effect. I now can't just move the lightning bolt. I actually have to move the entire background or move the dragon. And there wasn't enough space to move the dragon without cutting off the wings. So I end up shifting my background across and then just adding the extra clouds in at the side to reposition that lightning bolt so it doesn't look like it's just striking it straight through the head and coming out of its mouth. Now there's something missing from this dragon and it's its incredibly complex pattern. So it's about time I start doing the part I was kind of dreading a little bit and I start adding all the little squiggly lines that are all over the Blitz Striker's body. Now these stripes are actually really cool. They kind of, they're kind of almost lightning bolty themselves and they do follow the shape of its little squiggly horn thingy things on its head. Um, so I do actually really like the design of these stripes, there's just an awful lot of them so I was kind of dreading it a little bit but it wasn't too bad and it does add a lot to how the dragon looks. I have done these on a separate layer as I plan to do my lazy method of colouring these which is I just draw the stripes and then I lock the layer and I get a darker colour and go over the darker parts and I get a lighter colour and go over the lighter parts so then I can shade my stripes separate the actual drawing of the dragon itself um, and it's pretty easy quick way to do patterns. Okay, we're in the home stretch now, so I'm just adding some final highlights to things and uh, my signature, and then it's done. And I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, it was such a joy to do. So thank you again, Carter, for letting me color your line art. Um, hopefully we get to do it again sometime soon. I'll, I really um, want to, so hit me up. Thanks everybody for watching, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I also have a Patreon if you want to support me. Thanks again and I'll see you all next time. Bye!